Corona. Uh, us antibodies. Give it some confusing our antibodies and killing all of them. You antigens. We're gonna stop your viral infection from infecting this body and this world. Cause you cannot destroy the antigens. Our antibody vaccine, I mean, you cannot destroy the antibodies. Our vaccines are powerful. <sighs> Brand new car is noisy. Comfortable they on me. I was gonna whip on the Sabbath and never know what they could say with my homies. Well, well. Are we, are we starting? We're starting? Okay, okay, uh, I'm, 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 I'm ready, I'm ready, okay, okay, we're gonna start right now, we're gonna start real fast. We're live in five, four, three! Oh, wait, this is already fil <laughs> this is already filming. Yeah, do I see the red light? Yeah, I see the red light, thanks. Okay, so, we're gonna go over this really quick time, we're gonna go over really fast. This it was originally a 30 minute video, but it has been cancelled out, and I'm gonna talk about it. Uh, later on in the video, I do talk about the trailer that was put on earlier, and that trailer was a part of a uh, movie I made, Apocalyptic movie, I'm not going to really talk about it now because I talk about it later. And I did say that later in the video, I do say the trailer is going to be put by maybe the end of the video, but since the video was a bit long to a half an hour, I'm going to split the video into three different parts, and this is officially part one. Uh, part three will have the actual trailer to the video of the Apocalyptic movie, and... And that will be released soon, but to right now you're just watching the first part to this, and this part is about the hate and discrimination that's been put upon the Ch the Chinese race because of everything that's been going on, and it's not good to just discriminate that one Asian culture because it could have happened anywhere else in the world. And the second part of this video is talking about the two books that did predict this. I mean, one book obviously predicted because of the psychic, and the other book that could have predicted and the four different things that it could have used, like where the time travels from the future. Was it all planned? Or did Mother Nature come back and destroy destroy what we have because we destroyed it so much and one of God's books does say do not destroy the physical environment, you could watch it, but we've been destroying it all, we've been killing so many different habitats. You think everything happened a coincidence? It's a possibility all of this happened as a coincidence and nothing was actually planned. But you never know what might happen. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into the video and see you in the next smooth reality. I got a whip on the side and they want to go back to the way that they thought it was vibe. Burning it up in the Oh, we're, st we're still playing? How can you never tell me these things? Okay, we're going off. Taking the wall, but they want to know what they can say, but they never go back in my eyes. Oh, what do you say? Smooth. Got to the play. Should have told me that before this all happened. But, yo, we're talking about the... If you did see the trailer of the movie that I was putting up earlier, that's kind of a horror apocalyptic mutated movie. If the coronavirus were to mutate a lot and kill a lot of like, people in the virus, it would be like a zombie kind of apocalyptic movie. And I do have more to that trailer or more to that movie later on. Uh, this is going to be strictly about how we made the COV virus. I mean, vaccine. I mean, live video, update video. We made the COVID-19 update video, which we said we were making the last one. I did say earlier, no, I was not there in China. No, I did not pollute the water because I said I may have started the virus. Which is not true. I don't know how much you would believe that because I, I didn't even talk about it. Never mind. Which at the beginning when we started was an outbreak which was local. And it's gone to an epidemic to a pandemic. Where obviously because so many people have been leaving the country and opening that they had the virus until 14 days in. Where you would get the virus itself. And um, it was a global pandemic. A lot of materials like the virus was made in China. Because China has been making it. And I heard there's a lot of hate. And a lot of people spreading hate against China, which makes no sense. And we've been doing it throughout history. If one th thing happens in a certain place, and this could have actually, this virus could have happened anywhere in the world. One thing happens in a certain place, and everybody starts to get really pissed off with that exact, that like certain race. But that race, only like maybe a tiny part of that race did something, but the rest of them had nothing to do with it, and they're as much as a victim as you are. In this case, we're all victims of the COVID-19 virus because it's affecting a lot of people for anyone that has been infected. And I hope that you're all staying safe, keeping yourself clean, uh, trying to stay away from me, from each other. Or at least if you're not staying away from each other, if like maybe around one person. And this virus is like aliens. If you're in the aliens that ever invade Earth, we all want to be together. We all want to be fighting side by side. And except humans, for some reason, they fight against each other and they start discriminating. And people only hate and blame other people because they are scared. And they start, and uh, we start fighting each other, which makes no sense. We should rather just spread love and joy, as God would have said. We would spread love and joy across these lands, and we would go ahead and uh, help each other and work as a team to help make vaccines. If anybody has information, they can give it to other people. I heard there are four vaccines that have been developed across the world, the one in Canada, I think one was in America, I'm not sure if there were any others. Uh, Trump did have a vaccine he was talking about, it was known as hydroxychloroquine, 
chloramine, which was used to treat malaria, and as the chloramine, chlorium, and if you said you took it, to, you take it together, it would be a whole change in the medicine, in the medicine world. It would be a change in history, the medication. But we're still fighting aliens, you know. This COV-19 virus is an alien that's going around infecting everyone, and it might as well we just work together, we spread love, don't discriminate against a race that had nothing to do with it because they're as much as a victim as you inside the virus. It could have happened anywhere in the world, and. Uh, this vi this thing that I just talked about, the hydroxychlorine, chl chloroquine, that Trump was talking about, he was talking about it, and two people, this couple actually saw it, and saw Trump talking about it as possible being a vaccine, and of course they didn't take a tested version, but they, wanted to, they didn't want to be killed by the COVID-19, so they took it ahead, and they went and they did it in their, like they found like a pet version, but they didn't know the pet version, and the people version was different, and they did it, and I heard the husband had died, and the wife was in critical position in the hospital, so you would want to... Gotta keep prayer for her, make sure she survives, and it's an, like, if you hear anything, even anything that they talk about on the vaccine, don't actually go ahead and do that thing until you probably know that it's proven that it actually works, and don't just take the person's word for it, have like a medical examiner actually talk about it and saying that it does work, because you don't want to put your life in danger, other people's life in danger, there are, uh, and a lot of people, places are in lockdown, I know America's in a lockdown there, uh, when America started, Trump was saying how he shut down the borders, unlike the European Union. We had a lot of people clumping on with different people from across China or from across other worlds. And uh, because of that clump, a lot of, he said that he was stopping a lot of stuff, this from happening in America. But all those clumps probably did come into America. They did come across the world and you wouldn't have known it. And America now has, I think, 165,000 COVID-19 outbreak patients. And a lot of 65,000 I think have recovered, but it's the most cases in the world. And it, it's kind of a big country, so, and a lot of people from outside the country would be coming there, so it would make, it would, but it would make sense for it to actually go global anywhere. I don't know if it's airborne or it's coming from droplets. I kind of feel like it is airborne. I know it's more mutated in the stars. Stars you can get on the other side of the room. This, people have been wearing masks. I don't know how effective the masks are unless they clean the air that you're inhaling, because you're going to still be inhaling the same air that's going on. And um, there's been tra travel restrictions. I know in India, if you go outside, the police will whip you. And this was before the lockdown even started. This was when they said, just stay in your homes. I'm not sure how people would actually survive if they don't have food. I know a lot of people went and got toilet paper. I don't know what you're going to do with toilet paper selling on the black market. One guy got banned for trying to sell hand sanitizer on the black market. He got banned on three different sites, and now he's loaded with a bunch of hand sanitizer that I don't know how much use he has for unless he's able to sell it to people live. But... Yeah, so as we were talking about the COVID-19, there are two books that did predict this. It kind of predicted it. One was a fiction book written in 1981, known as At the Eyes of Darkness, the, and it had a virus called the Wuhan 400 saying it was made in China. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead and talk about And in the book about the, the Eyes of Darkness, it talks about a Wuhan 400 virus that killed a lot of people within 24 hours, and there was one kid that was psychic, which somehow makes a kind of futuristic talk because the next person that did write a book in 2008 was writing a book well, about a pandemonium-like illness which would go across in 2020 and in fact and the person that wrote this was well what do you know she was psychic could she be in the second cake from the book probably not because the book was fiction but could have been the psychic cake that they were talking about it is a possibility and the the book was called the end of the days predictions and prophecies of the end of the world and it was released in 2008 where she would talk about how there is a virus that's going to go across the world in 2020 and she was psychic and she she warned it but there's not much we could really do about the warning signs because our antibodies wouldn't be able to, if you don't know what antibodies are there are things inside your body that actually attack the virus or attack the antigens which are created by the viruses to stop them from infecting the body and since the antigens won't really know what the virus looks like until the virus actually comes and attacks us there's even though they are modest they have been modifying the antibodies and SARS but you wouldn't really see how the mutated virus would come. So they said there will be another outbreak and they knew there was going to be another outbreak. She talked about eight years ago in 2020 there will be the outbreak. So we would have to get ready for the warning signs of this outbreak that went across. And that leads the question, I'm not sure if she did say it was from Wuhan, China, inside the, the psychic one. But this leads the question, could they be time travelers from the future? The first guy, the second guy kind of said, uh, the second lady that actually wrote a book makes it seem like it's psychic, so it's a possibility that she's not time travel from the future, unless psychics are actually from the future, and they memorize all the different memories that happen in the future, and then they came back in time to just relive them because you can't fix time as a timed, it's a loop, and if they were to fix time, then they wouldn't be sent back in time to try to fix.
takes time again because it wouldn't make sense because they would get disappeared from the actual amount of time unless it's kind of loop that's going around and around. Uh, but second, was this all planned? Were there actually people that polluted the waters that we were talking about earlier? And did they create this as a way of a d decreasing human population because we've been killing so much? And uh, in one of the books that I do know, which, wait, let me, let me get to that. This, that was the second one, it was all planned, it was about the lower human population rate because I know at least the China population is 1.5 billion, which is the most in the world, that's at least one seventh of the, a bit more than one seventh of the world's population. And we've been killing and forgetting that there's so many other species in the world that are living and extinct and that we're going, making them away saying we're destroying their habitats. The third one, this could be from Mother Nature or God if they're taking back what we destroyed. In one of my books, in one of my religion, there's a part where God says, I will not harm everything, anything in the physical world. And that's all we've been doing. We've been going around, we've been destroying environments, we've been forgetting the other animals living, we're making animals go extinct. We've, of course, we've been caring about our people, but we've been destroying it said, don't harm the physical world, and that's what we all been doing. We're destroying the physical world, we're polluting the physical world. Whether you like it or not, in some way, you're a part of society kind of affecting the physical world. Even if you're staying in your home and using all the stuff that you're using, like I'm doing right now, I'm affecting the physical world in some way. So I little by little to help to give back to the environment that, that helped you live in this world. Because we've changed it so much, but we got all these different products from our environment and we kill so many other habitats. Uh, the quarantine, the quarantine, the, oh, right, part four, or the fourth reason, this could all be a coincidence, everything that's happening, except for the psychic part, it's coincidence that she was psychic and the guy was talking about a psychic, it was all in time. Right? It's all a coincidence that all this happened, there was nothing planned. That is, of course, number four, and she did talk that this virus will go away in the hot, in the heat, and in dry, I mean, you can go on a sauna and get hot, and then you will probably get out because somebody might contagious you again. And if it kills the virus, but sauna, I'm not sure about sauna because the virus could live in wet climates and it could live for a few hours to a couple of days. And sauna is kind of a humid climate, so it would stay inside that water zone. But the more the climate dries and the more the land dries, it would be harder for the virus to stay alive, is what I'm told. I know in Los Angeles, which is a pretty hot place, and as, as actually just in India earlier, so that would say the heat doesn't kill the virus as much because there might be a lot of humidity in the air. Maybe in the desert, I'm not sure how much humidity there it could kill it. But she said, in the psychic book they did say, the virus would come, as fa leave as fast as it comes, and the cure might not be the same cure. Because if this was a cure from SARS, if we had a vaccine for SARS, the vaccine that we make right now won't really do much because the virus may come back in another form, mutated from what it was before and try to bone them. Uh, make itself stronger than it was before and a lot of people don't know if they have the virus until 14 days in we've been in quarantine I had to talk about maybe the US if you're outside you would get fined a thousand dollars and possibly arrested and in India you get you get beat the shit out of just for being outside not before the lockdown happened I don't know about the lockdown now what would happen I'm pretty sure the same thing I don't even know would police officers allowed to be outside or would they all be in lockdown you, and if somebody did have the virus and a police officer was outside, they might get the virus contagion and contagion a lot of people. So I did hear that if you, there were people that got caught with illegal stuff they were doing, like uh, maybe expired license plate or some, something bad, and the, the police can't do anything because a lot of stuff, the economy is down there right now. This is the best time to go into stocks. You make a stock market broke exchange, you go ahead and you go into the lowest stocks, which you know are going high because all the stocks are low right now. I don't know for how long they're going to be low or if they're going to go lower, but right before they go high you can go ahead and put a lot of money in there I'm not that cute into the stock market and put some shares in there and you probably might get a rise into that for whatever you believe that will be going high in the stock market right now because everything is low because the economy is collapsing and uh, not the business is going on because of the virus going around and affecting everyone so now that you got the ending of part one, this is the very part one of the COVID update video and we're going to talk about how the aliens came and invaded us like we have a common enemy which is the COVID-19 video virus and it's like aliens invaded and we got to stay protected, we got to stay safe and we got to work together to fight against it. Not against hating each other because we're scared, but work together to go and fight against it. And part two, we'll be talking about the quarantine of how everything has been quarantined down and shut down. Or maybe you could get fined and how police can't do much because of the tickets that they're, they're not able to give because I don't think anyone's able to do the paperwork. But also, in part two, we'll be talking about how the, body, how the virus works in the body and how it's able to repopulate itself and create the stuff that goes into your body. But, and also, the claim that Putin released 400 to 500 lines of tigers all across Russia. Is it real or true or fake? Well, 
We'll talk about it next time in part two of COVID-19 update. This has been your host Smooth here with Smooth Reality, and we'll see you next time. Hey. Peace. Hope you stay safe. Keep it real.